I'm Tian Kim, the senior research of SNT Works company. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about side channel analysis attack is serious threat in real world by hacking commercial trench car. As a result of attack, we succeed in free recharge on trench car. Online as follows. First, I will introduce attack goals and scenario, and next, I'm going to describe detailed information of a target device and explain key recovery attack. And for recharging simulation, we prepare video. And last is conclusion. Let's start with attack goal and scenario. Generally, to recharge, user pays the amount he wants to recharge to bending machine, then Recharging finishes and the car is returned with increased balance. On the such a system, our ultimate goal is to recharge without any money. For this purpose, roughly it takes two attack steps. Firstly, recover key for recharge. For this step, we use the side channel analysis attack. And next, we, we construct recharging tool using the recover the key. Uh, this disguises an attacker as valid user. Using this tool, we can recharge whatever the amount to add any money uh, at any time. Sorry. Next is detailed specification about target device. Our target device is trench card used for paying toll fee for, for freeway in Korea. Uh, over 800 million cars issued and used. We can also use the in, uh, cafeteria and convenience store located in freeway. Recently, praise that uh, you can pay with this car is increasing, such as movie theater and airport park, and so on. This car is contact smart card equipped with cryptographic hardware engine and countermeasure is employed against the side channel attack. This car supports ISOIC standard and KSX Korea standard. With these documents, we could get detailed information about this car. Next is the recharging protocol. Uh, uh, blue color means public information and red color uh, is secret information and uh, crypto algorithm is color. Uh, to recharge, symmetric crypto system based signature and verification must pass between card and Secure module called SAM, SAM. Uh, using shared key, two way signature verification is performed. Upon request, card generates session key from random number, and using this key, generate signature. Signature sent to secure module, then secure module. Verify receive the signature. And then, secure module generates new signature. This signature sent to card. Next, card verify the signature. If this signature is valid, recharging is finished. Under this protocol, in order to recharging illegally, a tag must send valid signature to car. This is possible if card key is recovered. Using card key, attacker can generate every information for valid signature with public information. Therefore, our target 
our target is to recover card key. Crypto algorithm used in authentication process is 128-bit block cipher with CBC operation mode. For 128-bit crypto encryption, two key triple dash is performed twice. As I mentioned before, recovering card key means recover 128-bit triple dash key. Thus, we focus on triple dash recovering triple dash key. Now, I will explain key recovery attack. Our environment setup. This is general power analysis attack setup, except that we used spectrum analyzer for denoising. So I will skip the details. First step to recover the key is to determine whether triple dash operates in selected power trace. Using every point in power trace is inefficient since it requires very, very time and computing power. Thus, we must select most, in most possible position using methods such as input output signal analysis and Visual inspection, plain text CPA. Once the location is determined, we perform DPA to search for the key. Since two key triple dash is our target, we need to find two 56 bit single dash key. Method four, recovering dash key is well known. Generally, Attacking first round recovers 48-bit key and using the recover, attacking second round, second round recover the whole key. In here, most important part is we, we don't know whether each DPA result is correct. Thus, we perform error correction after DPA for success rate and preventing error propagation. Lastly, by comparing signature value from card response and generated signature by attacker, we can verify the correctness of recovered key. If not same, attacker return to the first step and perform these steps. Since this process must repeat until key is found. It requires tremendous trials and errors. <clears throat> there are some problems make that this work so difficult. To overcome hiding count measure, we need to pre-process and collect more power traces. Alignment was most difficult task. Due to hiding count measure, it was difficult from reference pattern for alignment. Also, misalignment of even one or two point face the attack. So elaborated work is required for efficient and fast pre-processing and DPA with numerous traces. We compress the power trace and parallelize the our analysis tool. <clears throat> now about the experiments. From collected traces, we searched for similar pattern and guessed the weather triple dash operate. This figure captures six triple dash. As you can see, six similar pattern appears. This part is related to session key generation and right, this part is related to signature generation in recharging protocol as I mentioned before. For generation of session key, 
uh, triple dash is operated twice and for generation of a signature, triple dash is operated uh, four times. Our target is first triple dash we performed following attack. Combining this information, we can narrow down the location of target operation. Triple dash might up my target here or here. We perform DPA with proper range inside here. Which one is exact only can be identified through result of DPA attack. As a result of a, as a result of attack, it turned out that triple dash operated in here, in their right side. Interestingly, it was composed of four single dash, not three single dash. We deduced that it is assigned as a fourth count measure which can monitor for the injection during the triple dash operation. This show result of first round DPA attack on aligned and compressed traces. Attack is processed by 8S box. We are able, we are able to identify significant peak. We know that every peak for each S box rises on the same location. Uh, these results indicate that the target device process processes the eight S boxes in parallel. Blank line shows the correlation with the correct key. Each line has maximum correlation value among key candidate. Thus, in this attack, we recovered 48 bit key. For 56 bit key, we perform DPA by using Hamming distance of intermediate value between remaining nouns with recovered. As shown in red, if we guessed correctly, oh, you can observe 14 peaks. We are clearly convinced that the attack was successful because 14 meaning for peaks were observed consecutively for each round. As you shown in round, one meaningless peak was only observed because errors of the incorrect gas that recovered the key are influenced to the consecutive round due to the round key scheduling even if the first round key is correct. So we cannot observe any discriminable peak after first round. This shows comparison between signature from card response and generated by recover the key uh, you can see the same which means we recover the right key. Using recover the key, we construct free recharging tool. And with this tool, we succeeded on recharge. For the demonstration, we prepared the video. This is our target card. First, 
we check the balance using ATM from bank. <coughs> we have 20,051, about $20. Uh, rest recharging without money. This is a recharging tool. And put the amount of money you wish to recharge. We input the uh, 10,000 won, about $10. Recharging has complete, complete read, and let's check the balance. <coughs> it can see that. The balance has increased to 30,051. Thank you. That is it. Actually, systematically, there is no system to monitor unauthorized use. Also, numerous payments, it is impossible to detect illegal use. Therefore, there is no problem of unauthorized recharge. This page shows total procedure. First, we check the balance, recharging with the recharging tool, and check the increase the balance. Now the, conclu now the conclusion. We demonstrate that side channel analysis attack is a serious threat in real world. We show financial damage, our attack is practical, although it took six months of trials and error. We can now extract key from same device in, in about 56 hours. For the worst, we plan to analyze security of a commercial device by combining reverse engineering and side channel attack. White paper will be uploaded, and you can see details there. And if you have a question, just send me email. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>